Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I built and painted my first garage kit Nagatoro from Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I first double checked the parts were there, making sure I wasn't missing anything. Then I washed them using a degreasing soap. This is so that I can take off any residue that was left from the molding process. Here I'm using my nippers, knife, and sandpaper to clean off the nubs from the parts. I try to get them as smooth as I can so they can fit in into each other nicely.
I begin drilling and pinning the parts together. This is so that the figure can be stable and mostly solid for the time being and makes painting easier later. Parts that don't fit together and leave a gap, like here, I use epoxy putty, specifically millet putt, and Vaseline. You put the putty on one part, Vaseline on the other, and sandwich them together, filling the gap. As the putty dries and hardens, it won't stick to the other part because the Vaseline prevents it. I don't completely understand how this works, I just know it does. I can later then clean off Vaseline with isopropyl alcohol. Before painting, I primed all parts with Mr. Hobby Surface 1000. It covers any small imperfections and leaves a smooth gray base so the paint sticks and adheres. I ended up doing around 2-3 to three coats of each color just to make sure all parts were coated evenly.
for the eyes, I used the included decals from the kit. I'm not super confident in myself doing the pupils yet. It, it, it terrifies me. <laughs> I was here for like a solid 15 minutes making sure the eyes were positioned right. Mr. Mark Suffman and Sailor back there, they were my best friends in this whole process. I finally hit everything with a matte coat and a little dab of gloss for the eyes and glued it all together. I really quickly 3D printed a small base and painted it black, which I didn't record but you'll soon see.
and it is finally done. I'm very happy with how it came out. Is it perfect? Of course not, but I'm proud of it. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making the figure. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!